Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Police are revealing few details about a murder in West Vancouver earlier this week. But tonight we're learning the victim is a retired doctor embroiled in legal disputes involving valuable real estate and his own family. And there's another mystery. CTV's Abigail Turner has the story. Police cars and yellow tape swarmed this apartment building on Argyle Avenue Tuesday night, a sought-after waterfront neighborhood in West Vancouver. A man stabbed in the parkade, now being treated as a homicide. One witness says his mother made the 911 call. She was in the lobby and this lady came kind of frantically running up from the parkade down below and was like, my son's been attacked, like, help me, help me. CTV News has learned the victim is a retired urologist, Francis Amir Este. He practiced in Port Coquitlam, but has lived in this building since 2014 with his mother. Este was involved in a number of legal disputes with family members. Some involved disagreements with his sister and mother over valuable real estate. And mystery surrounds one property in particular. In 2015, fire tore through this mansion on Bellevue Avenue. At the time, it was deemed suspicious and became the subject of an arson investigation, but charges were never laid. The property is owned by Estes' family. The integrated homicide investigation team has taken over the case. As of late Tuesday, no arrests have been made. It's a little scary. I just didn't think of this, this was the scenario, but yeah, just... Yeah, a little nervous. The question now is who would target to stay and why? Abigail Turner joins us. Now, Abigail, you mentioned no arrests, so a killer is still on the loose tonight. So do police know who they're looking for? Well, Mi Jung, police say they're looking for an unknown male suspect, but apart from that, they're revealing very few details about this case. We've tried multiple requests to the Integrated Homicide Investigation Team. So far, they're not saying publicly, but they are calling for anyone with information to contact them. All right, thank you, Abigail.